Hi, my name's Emma Lafferty. I'm studying a level three apprenticeship in engineering with Dusan Babcock at Kendall College. So I first came into the industry doing my level one in mechanics. That was the day release from school. I then progressed on to my level two, which was a full-time course in engineering. I then got a job as an apprentice engineer at a local sheet metal yard. And then after that, I also got a job at Dusan Babcock, working up at Sellafield as a assistant technician. So my first interest in the trade world started when I did my level one, and that was at college, which was a day release from school. And since then, taken up a hobby in modified cars. Um, I've now got my pride and joy, which is my Focus ST. I've changed things up, such as the turbo, the inlet, the intercooler. I'm going to get it remapped. It's got bucket seats, harnesses, everything you need for a track. And then just for the cherry on top, I've wrapped it in bright pink, so everyone knows it's a girl that's driving it. <laughs> So being at college, doing my motor vehicle course, it was it was really nice while we were at college because everyone sort of knew, you know, you had your overalls, your boots, everyone knew where, which department you were from. Um, but then in the outside real world, uh, when I told everyone that I did motor vehicle, half of them didn't believe me. And then, you know, some of them were like, wow, really, you you do mechanics, you, you know, you want to be a mechanic when you, you know, you grow up sort of thing. Um, so that was a bit of a challenge, just trying to, like, not prove myself, but make people believe me. Um, and then when I did the engineering course, it was completely different again. There was girls on the co on the course. They were, you know, really set out on what they wanted to do. Um, and we all we were pretty, we were really good friends while we were on the course because we had that shared experience of, you know, we've got a team up together because there's not many of us here. <laughs> so my experience is working as a woman in the engineering industry. Uh, my first experience was a challenging one. Um, I didn't have certain things like the sanitary bins in the toilets proper fit in uniform and um, I had to wait quite a while to get them so I didn't really from the start I didn't really fit in with everybody and um, the respect from the workshop from the other lads that work there some of them were on board with it and then I kind of got the cold shoulder from a lot of them so and I think that's more because a lot of people aren't educated they don't they're not prepared for, for a woman to you know enter the workplace and start pulling the weight like all the others do and um, but it certainly was a challenge and then I started working for Dusan Babcock and it was a completely different ball game. Everything was ready and waiting, they were prepared, and they were invested as well, which is really nice to see. I'm now given a lot of responsibility and it's, it's nice to be able to, you know, seen as an equal. Um, I'm respected as well, which is a big thing. Um, and a lot of people at the workplace, they're, you know, they check on me and see if I'm okay, but likewise, I, I don't feel like I can't check on them. Um, so it's really nice to be able to you know, know that we are part of a team. My advice to employers would be if you invest in your people, it will come back to you tenfold. If you invest positively and make sure you are actually you know, concerned about their well-being, it will come back to you and they'll feel like they are happy to give back into the company. And also if you're wondering you know, what an apprentice, apprentice wants or how to you know, treat women in the workplace, just ask. We're never, we're never afraid you know, just to say you know, what we like, what we don't like, and the things that we need as well. If we all communicate, it'll all be positive in the end. My advice to women prospectively wanting to get into the trade industry or the engineering industry, I would say that communication with your employer is key and that if they haven't handled a problem like this before or an experience like this before, every bit of communication counts. If you can give them an insight on how to behave around women in the workplace and things that you need personally, if you communicate with them that will be the best option. And also not to doubt yourself because there are times, there have been times where I've doubted myself before and wondered if this was the right career path for me. And it always has been, it's just certain things happen sometimes that make you doubt yourself and you don't need to do that because you decided that you're on this track for a reason.